what's good? It's your boy Zor in the building. Representing Fresh to Death APR all day. Shout out to JG to Dine. Also, shout out to one of my newest friends in the commentary game, Mr. Dream Merchant. Uh, you can find both of their uh, channel names in the description of this video. Uh, today, I just wanted to talk to y'all about something near and dear to my heart. Sports games. I know it's a Gears vid, but that's what I'm trying to throw y'all off, man. Don't nobody give them sports gamers love, man. For a long time, we were video games. I hope that people remember that the original addiction on video games, uh, other than fighting games, was sport games. You know what I'm saying? Before, there was MLG or professional gaming or all that. You know what I'm saying? It was all about Madden. I don't know a single gamer uh, who hasn't played Madden or Tecmo Bowl or NBA Live or something. Um, but yeah, just on the, those games being great, you know, Madden specifically, that's a 23-year franchise. You know what I'm saying? They've had events like the Madden Challenge for, you know, up to $100,000. Shows like Madden Nation and all that stuff right now came way before all the Halo and Call of Duty and all that stuff that people play now. Uh, number one thing about sports games that I've always liked is the replay value is off the charts no matter what. You can play a sports game over and over and over and over until the next one comes out, and that's why they're so tight. Uh, some of the greatest games of all time have been sports games. Just the Madden series, uh, the FIFA series, NBA Jam, NBA Live about 1999 through 06 before it still <laughs> really started getting bad. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember King Griffey Jr.'s Major League Baseball. Uh, also, you know, the 2K series, basketball and football, even back in the day, uh, as well as wrestling games. People forget that this is a sports game. People still play wrestling games, apparently. I just found this out. Uh, the only reason why I really felt the need to talk about this today to y'all is just because I was working at my job. I'm not going to tell you where or what. And I started asking this kid about, you know what I'm saying, like what, you know what I'm saying, what type of video games and stuff he played. We just randomly got into this conversation. And he's like, oh, yeah, I play Call of Duty, I play Gears, I play Halo, I play this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, dog, I play Madden, I play FIFA. And he was like, what? You're not a real gamer. Now, remember, I'm a grown-ass man, and this is a child, and he's telling me that I ain't no real gamer. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm just laughing at him, and I'm like, how you say that? And he's like, oh, well, sports games ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Those aren't real games. That ain't no RPG. That ain't no shooter. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's really the other reason why I decided to uh, make this video. First thing I want to say is that sports gamers are the original gamers. Uh, we hold it down out here. Uh, I bet you anybody else will tell you that. All thumbs created equal. That's my new movement. I'm going to be the Martin Luther King sports games if y'all don't like it. Uh, you know, I'm a sports gamer. Anybody will tell you I got my start in Madden. Actually used to play Madden professionally. Used to go to all the Madden challenges and stuff and did pretty decent over my career. Uh, ended up started working for EA, so obviously I couldn't play anymore. So now, you know what I'm saying, I just do this in my spare time to show love. Uh, I play everything though, man. You know what I'm saying, my main two things are Madden and FIFA. Probably nothing else that I'm better at low-key, but uh, all other games that I do play are Gears of War, the entire series, uh, Modern Warfare 3, the well, I guess the entire Modern Warfare series ever since Call of Duty 4. I do play Halo. See, Halo wasn't really my game. Because I don't really like the space cowboy stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like aliens and all that nonsense. But uh, Halo 2, man. I remember I went over to my cousin's house. He was throwing a tournament. Fell in love with the game. And coincidentally, the Madden Challenge had switched to Xbox that year. So I ended up getting the Xbox, getting that Madden 05. And then ended up getting Halo 2. And Halo's been pretty cool ever since. It's got the best multiplayer, in my opinion. Um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, man. I still got an original copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on PlayStation. So... Uh, Mortal Kombat from day one. Mortal Kombat was actually probably the first game I ever played, low key. Uh, and then, of course, uh, a new game that I've just been on is Batman Arkham City. Expect to see some vids about that, man. That game is off the chain, low key. Um, the other thing is, is, like with sports games, I know we lose a lot of credibility whenever you start playing online. Just because the servers suck, and it's different from a shooter, you know what I'm saying? It's literally one connection to one connection, and people lag, and. You know what I'm saying? Use little strategies. You know, they sit there and use one play over and over. My personal opinion is if you can't stop the play, you probably wasn't meant to stop it anyway. Uh, but, you know, I just think that sports gamers need to get more respect, man. We out here. So my thing is I'm going to be doing what I can uh, to hold it down for us. 
as well as uh you know, just a general casual gamer, man. Not everybody has to be some hardcore cat with 55 million levels and all the guns and golden guns and all the levels unlocked and ain't even had to pay for them and all that BS. So, your boys out here, this your boy Zara APR. Once again, shout out to JG the Don. Shout out to my boy Dream Merchant. Uh, expect to see more from me, man, but I just want to talk to y'all about that. Peace.